Hey there everybody. So in this compositing tutorial, we're going to change this video from this to this. And yeah, all of this is being done in Blender's compositor. Compositing is awesome and I think this tutorial should prove it. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so here we are in Blender. Right, so this is this is a default thing, nothing special going on over here. So let's head over to the compositing tab. Uh, actually, before I do that, I'm just gonna enable my screencast keys. Uh, all right, so let's see if they're visible over here. Nope, useless. Anyway, let's move along. So this is the compositing tab and yours might look a bit different. So I've just added a few panels over here and I've set this to the viewer node. So click use notes and you'll be popped up with these two. Now compositing this, this node is important. This one, we can just delete that because we won't be, you know, taking any information that is coming from over here in the 3D scene, from the 3D scene. So that's that. I'm just gonna hit Shift A and select an, select image, not time, image, and then click open. Then go to my folder and select the CXR files. Now for those of you, who want to follow along. I have provided uh, an EXR file cause the whole sequence, which is a 480 frames, that, that that's like 32 GB. So not only it's, it's gonna be a pain in the ass for me to upload it, it's gonna be a big pain in the ass for you guys to download it. So I've just added this one uh, EXR file, which is a frame 172. And that's, that's the only frame that I'm gonna be working with over here. And I'm going to set this at 30 frames per second. But since you guys, you know, you won't be renting any animation, it doesn't really matter what frame rate you're on. Okay, so import that in, uh, load that EXR in, and you'll get this. So change this layer to Weave layer. And when, that, when you do that, you get a lot of options. And these are nothing but the utility and light passes and all sorts of stuff over here that most of you never take. But yeah, anyway, so point of this video is to, you know, push our renders. And I just want to tell you guys that how fun compositing is and how awesome uh, it is and how beneficial it's going to be. So for those guys who uh, have no experience in compositing or, you know, who are just afraid of compositing or who don't know why one should composite or why one should, you know, be doing compositing and stuff like that, I would encourage you guys to follow along. And also this this is a beginner friendly tutorial, but it's also not gonna be that beginner. I'm not gonna explain everything. So I expect you guys to know a few things like what diffuse and glossy passes are, why you need them and stuff like that. There are a bunch of videos out there on YouTube that explains this. So I hope you guys are at least aware of it. I'm gonna try my best to do that. But this, this video is just gonna be me, you know, compositing as usual and just talking while I'm doing it. But this is going to be fun and it's going to be very inform informational or educational for those because we are going to push this image that you're seeing in front of your screen right now to this, which is awesome. And this is in compositing. So if you can believe that, well, let's jump into compositing. So the first thing is what we're going to do is we're going to just add in or just make the beauty pass. And that is, well, Blender has its own formula of adding the diffuse glossy and all sort of all those light passes. So let's just do that. So connect the diffuse direct, diffuse indirect, and I've just added a mix node over here. Set that to add. I guess it's that uh, is that add. Well, let's. I always forget. Oh, that it 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 has to be add. Yeah. And then the next one is gonna be multiply. So set this to multiply, and then just connect the glossy color to the bottom of it here. So this is nothing but the diffuse color and lighting information, which we get. And this is gonna be super beneficial for us at the later part. I'm just gonna select these two and move them over there. And then select these two, duplicate them. And now connect the glossy direct over here. Glossy indirect over here. And then glossy color over here. And then duplicate the sad node. And then just plug these two. So now we get this, which is nothing but it's basically the same, yeah? It's identical and that's, that's, we basically have rebuilt the beauty pass. But now we get an added advantage and that is that we can mess with a lot of stuff. And yeah, that's, that's, that's why, you know, that's one of the beauty of compositing. You get full control over this. So let's get 
denoising first because this is a very noisy image. So I'm just going to click denoise and I'm just going to duplicate this, bring it over here. And now denoising node, it requires, now it is, it kind of did a good job, but as you can see, uh, before we had this normal information over here and well, plainly the denoise node does a good job, but it also erases or it removes some information. So let's introduce that. So let's connect the denoising normal to the normal and the denoising albedo to the denoising albedo. And now if you see, we get this information back, the bump information, which is super, super, super useful. Also, you can see that uh, at this point, the only thing that I'm using from this node is the denoising albedo and normal. So I, I really don't need the rest and it's also taking a lot of space. So what I'm gonna do is select this node and hit control H. So what that basically does is it hides all the node sockets or all the sockets that are not being used. So that is super, super helpful. So I'll do the same over here. Yep, awesome. Okay, yeah, I hit Control S by mistake, that, and that's a good habit. So I'm just gonna save this V2, recording this for the second time. The first one it didn't go so well. Okay, so now let's take this image and just make something awesome out of it. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to change the texture of the floor because you know everything is just gray and white and that th those are the major of the majority of the colors in this image so i just like to you know spice things up a bit and yes you can change textures in compositing that's awesome i know and i've also made a full dedicated video on that topic so in this video i'm just going to quickly go over it so if you want to learn the fundamentals of it i would recommend watching that video so i'm just going to duplicate the cxr file bring it over here and hit ctrl h because now i going to need a few more sockets out of it. So first, uh, the first things first is that I'm gonna hit Shift A, search for U Map UV Node, and rem and remember <clears throat> that if you want to apply textures on top of objects over here or in any scene, you need them to be UV unwrapped. If they're not UV unwrapped, this whole thing is not gonna work at all. Okay, so now that that's there, uh, let's select this over. Let's bring this over here, and then I'm just gonna choose the diff uh well where's the uv pass yes yeah, so uv pass connect this pass to the uv socket this pass is very important and it's very awesome as you'll see in just a few minutes and then we need a new texture to map around this marble so what i'm going to do is go over here at the texture panel click new and then i'm just gonna uh, image on via i'll just name it later on then i'm just gonna click open and then I've provided you guys with all the textures, so you know you uh, in the file which you've, if you guys are following along, you've downloaded that. So in that file, you'll have a bunch of textures. So let's just choose this wooden floor, which I think is from CCO Textures or maybe Polygon.com. I don't know. It's free though, so uh, I I don't think we, we we should be having any issues here. Anyway, so once that's done, Shift A and add a texture node, and then she like and select select one <laughs> i am not good at english am i anyway so i'm just going to name this texture wooden and over here in the panel let's just select wooden and let's just put the color and let's just connect the color to the image so now if you view this we get well everything is wrapped being wrapped around with the wooden texture but we don't want that we only want this full floor to get the wood texture so i'm going to add in a crypto mat node and basically we're just creating a mask so let's connect the materials to the material so crypto just bring it over here crypto zero zero to zero and so forth if it will allow me to connect yep and then it will need an image so the combined image over here and now uh, over in the image we'll see nothing matte nothing but over at the pick over here at the pick we have a bunch of options and I am so sorry, I didn't choose frame 172 for everything that I'm doing right now. I'm so sorry for that. Okie dokie. But either way, it doesn't matter what frame I'm on, uh, what we're doing, it will apply to all of this. So that's kind of the whole point of compositing. But yeah, so sorry for that. Now, uh, over here, just click add, and that will give us a eyedropper kind of thing. So let's just select the bottom color which is white. And yes, we could have chosen object, but the thing is, uh, this material, uh, the, marble ma the marble material, I've added it to two different objects. 
and I want this everywhere the material I want basically this material to be changed everywhere so that's why I've chosen material you guys can choose object and then choose multiple objects that's fine as well but yeah just wanted to get that out there so once that done I'm just gonna choose a mix node and then I'm gonna well connect this to the bottom socket and then choose the diffuse color pass to the top socket and then put the mat or let's just view this first and now you'll see that everything is getting wrapped there's no big difference from here oh that's a there's a difference but yeah like that but once I connect this mat to the factor you'll see that this texture is only being applied to the, the floor and now uh, just a quick basics bas basics of mix node uh, or just how they work in blender is that the bottom socket is always going to be the foreground and the top socket is the background so in this case i want this wooden texture to be on top of the whole thing so if i were to just reverse this you'll see the opposite happening and if i want to remove the uh, you see this opposite is happening so we don't want that we want this to be on the foreground which is in this case it's at the, the bottom socket i don't know why this is even they could have just you know kept this top one as as the foreground because that kind of makes sense but it is how it is so you know let's not complain just move on so again now i really don't need the other sockets here so i'm just going to control h so yeah we've done this okay we have added the textures but how do we introduce this information towards the final image so let's just view this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another mix node uh, i'm going to add it in between the diffuse color which is going over here i'm going to add it over here because diffuse color is what contains the texture information so i'm going to add a mix node over there and then i'm going to add this one at the bottom because again i want this to be on top i want this to be the foreground thing and then i'm just going to select this mat again and add it to the factor or actually i don't think we need to in this case let's see let's see if i view this now you'll see that yay we have successfully changed the texture which is awesome yeah that's i don't i'm telling you guys compositing is fun right so now we've changed this texture but now you'll see that okay now also this one also has the wooden texture and mm, nah, that that's not fun so what i'm going to do is i'm going i'm just going to do it uh, sorry duplicate this bring it on top and actually i'm just going to select everything over here and just move it somewhere like this and now here again i'm just going to cut it it doesn't it won't change anything over here so i'm just going to click new open and then let's just go to over here and let's just choose this yellow texture and i'm just going to name it yellow with the song is also nice by what's the name of the band i forgot oh coldplay yeah my bad <laughs> oh okay yeah so i just had a whatsapp notification so right now if we take a look at this mix node the yellow texture is being applied to the ground so let's just go to the pick delete this information that's being added over here select add and let's just choose this now if you view this yep so now we basically need to just mix mix this to again so add in a mix node over here and i want this to be on top of everything else so if you view this uh we are getting the yellow information that is out here but we are not getting the wooden texture so let's just provide this whole thing with a mat so let's just connect this mat that we did for the for the what do we call it doors or whatever the, the yellow texture and just plug it into this mix node so now if we view this yay victory is ours also one thing that you'll notice is that we still get the bump information from the wood from the wooden texture and that's because that information has been baked into this denoising normal information and we kind of need that <laughs> excuse me and also i think it looks pretty cool you know so yeah i'm gonna keep that shirt eh, you can of course do however you want
Okie dokie, so that's that's there. So let's just pull this back over here. Now I want to change the color of the uh, what, the liquid guy and also the vase over here. So again, I'm just gonna it this time uh, it doesn't have to do with the UV pass. I'm just gonna duplicate these two, these two bottom nodes, duplicate this, and then let's just. Well, first of all, delete the selection that we made, and then over here, the, over here at the pick, add and select this. So now we have a mat for this red guy. So I'm just gonna add it in a mix node again, and this time I'm just gonna connect the image to the top socket. And if we view this, we get white, and that's based that. And the reason for that is that wherever this image is, this image, it's applying the color that's at the bottom so in this case it's white so I I want that to be something bluish something yeah like this yeah works for me so now let's introduce this information so what I'm gonna do is just bring all of these over here and then add in a mix node again and plug this to the bottom socket and then let's just view this And everything is blue. Okie dokie. So let's just provide, or let's just select this. And this basically, I, it should be preserving the alpha for us. No, it doesn't. Let's, let's use this in this case. So let's just provide this with a mat. And yep, that does the job. Perfect. Also, I think I'm. Um, well, how do you how do you do this uh okay yeah i think this is yeah okay yeah and i think i'm just just worrying about future problems that we might have with this whole setup but looks like we won't be having any so select this just gonna bring it back because we still need to change the was color or waste however you want to pronounce it so let's just bring it over here duplicate all of these three bring it over here then uh, go to the pick section delete everything that's inside this box over here add select this vase and now let's see i want to i want the color to be red yeah perfect then duplicate this node over here put this at the bottom socket because remember this is the foreground and then let's just provide this with a mat as well connect that to the factor and now if you view this it should be working just fine and it does perfect awesome now i'm so sorry if you guys are hearing my fans loud noise i am working on a very low-end pc here uh, that is HP Pavilion, 8 GB RAM, 2 GB graphic card. So not 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 the ideal PC for you know working in visual effects, but you know that's just ex excuses. But yeah, I just want to say sorry for the background noise. I'll try to reduce that in post, but yeah, just saying sorry. Okay, anyway, so we've all done this, but now there is one problem that will occur. So this is just that I want to get out of. Now you guys are working on a still image, so it shouldn't be bothering you so much, but let's go to somewhere over here frame let's say 249 now you'll s okay not that far maybe to 180 one, 180 yeah 180 mm -hmm, yeah okay mm, maybe something over here and just if you guys are wondering what this whole red thing is right this red information that we're getting also wait a minute i think we're getting some aliasing happening over here so hmm, i think maybe if i disable this nah. okay so we are currently experiencing a problem over here okay cause if you guys noticed hmm, we're kind of having sharp edges over there uh, yeah, like this this white outline so does that have to do anything does it have to do anything with I think the mats fine maybe if I turn on clamp 
no, this preserve transparency will do nothing in this case okay so i've realized what the problem was and funny enough after all this research or not research just messing around i realized that the way to get rid of it was just by clicking this button so if i unclick that we'll get this but if i click this the they just they just go which is wow <laughs> so who knew that anyway <laughs> so let's just move along with the project so yeah the problem that i was talking about so let me just zoom in so as you can see we have changed the color to blue but here in the reflection we are getting red that is like a major giveaway that you know there's something wrong in the scene you know uh, some people won't be able to tell that it isn't compositing but it gives uh, but it basically just feels odd so one way to if you guys do uh, are in a situation like this then one way to get rid of this and this kind of trouble is to just remove the reflection at all or it's it's a it's it's kind of a cheat but it it's way way better than just seeing right over here so let's do that super quickly so what I'm going to do is first, I'm just going to select these two nodes because I need crypto mat for this. I need a mask, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate. Uh, yeah, do I need to duplicate this though? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think I think I do. Or yeah, let's just duplicate this. Why? What the hell? So first let's see where this information is and i think this information is hiding in diffuse indirect perfect so then let's add in a mix node and connect this to the diffuse indirect socket and then plug again the diffuse indirect over here and then uh, once that's done first first let's just mask both these items because we also have some red information over here as well so i'm just going to go to the pick delete this and add materials will be this one and again click add and choose this one yeah and yes you can choose multiple objects in the crypto mat section all right so once that's done let's just add, uh, excuse me add the mat to the mix node that we just added over here so right now nothing has changed but if I add in a math node, uh, operation to add and set this to zero, you'll notice that the interact information has been completely shut down only to the place where we have this mat. So other than that, everything is working just fine as you can see over here. But now if we take a close look, doesn't look that bad so yeah it's it's cheating i mean there should be some reflection over there but if you are doing stuff like this if you're changing colors and textures and if you don't if you just want to get rid of the reflection then this this is a very good i mean if you're cheating just do it properly you know it is cheating it's not the perfect way it's not the perfect solution but what can we do so i'm just going to control h again it's just so that it's showing that information and right now uh, let's go back to frame 172. Okay, so now we've changed the mm, VS information over here as well as we've changed a lot of things. So mm, let's try. I, I just I just don't like this color over here. So it's gray and it's just a bit off. So I think I'll just try to change that to something more of a white, light white or something like that not good with colors either i don't know their names all i mean i know the orange red that kind of names but you know stuff like cyan or something like that uh, those those are completely new to me but i do i cyan is one of my favorite colors just so you know so i'm just going to select three all of these three nodes duplicate them then over here in the crypto mat clear this then let's go to pick add this and then change this to something over here yeah Oh, sorry. Gonna have to reduce the uh, something like this. Yeah, this looks perfectly fine. Duplicate this. Cool. Um, make sure this. Okay, this at the bottom. And then, okay, need a mat for it. So let's just add in a mat to the factor socket. 
and boom so we should be having a big difference yes awesome so now let's try to add some information or let's just try to change the texture of the wall because this is looking completely flat and i just i just want you know some scratches or some oil spill over there or not oil because that that'll be pretty fucked up but paint yeah you know paint so what i'm gonna do is just duplicate this setup over here and bring it up over here and then i'm just gonna add another texture so let's just name this one as scratch s t r a S -S scratch i forgot how this i'm just gonna name it as i i just don't <laughs> i forgot the, how you spell scratch <laughs> wow this is this is new new this is some next level god this is this is bad this is this is like really bad but yeah so let's just delete that now under a pick let's just choose our background and we already have it mapped over here in the background so let's just add in a mix node and then let's just connect this to the bottom socket because remember bottom socket is the foreground so now if i view this you'll see that this texture is being added but nothing else changes so we just need to put the factor to the we, do, we need to put the mat to the factor socket we just need to connect that and now everything is back so now if you view this it will it's gonna look awesome right off the bat okay it's gonna look super awesome just look at just look at it it's amazing but one of the things why i won't be you know going for it is because we get this white outlines so if i just full screen this so you see this white outlines and i think this is the light draft effect taking place or maybe some aliasing problems i really don't know know why that's happening also it's kind of cool that this whole blue thing is getting its its red and and the reason why we're having red over here is because reflection you know it was earlier it was red so it, the light rays are reflecting over here and reflecting back on it and this sense hence it is a glossy surface we're getting some reflections but i think it looks cool I, th that's my theory anyway that that's why the red is there but it looks cool so i'm just gonna let it stay there so if you guys are up for this black kind of thing then go for it but this edges is bothering me so let's try and just press this button right over here because you know like last time that was the problem oh it actually makes it even much worse so that's not good so instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the mix mode now over here you can play around with a bunch of stuff now if you uh, select add you'll get something like this, which is okay. But the one that I've found awesome is the fronts, the fronts blending mode. And you'll see right off the bat that it looks, yeah, amazing. All right, so now I just wanna tile this. And if I didn't mention earlier, that's the big difference between just, uh, uh, you know, J man, you must be wondering why I'm just taking this texture, not putting it over here and then bringing it over here. And the reason for that is because we can tile it. So now if I put 1.5 over here, this image can be tiled. And unlike, you know, if you just hit shift A, add an image node and, and choose that. I, I, did I tell this uh, at the start of the video? Eh, but no, either way, it doesn't matter. This is awesome. So that's out of the bag bunch of compositing happening over here you can just see that the tree is getting bigger and bigger and this is nothing you know it's not that complicated it's just one layer being on top of the other layers uh, just taking a sip of water over here and me see now what next what next what next now let's uh let's 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 do something fun with normal node the normal node the normal node is super awesome guys it is really uh, it's it's one of my favorite nodes so i'm just going to shift t and duplicate this hit ctrl h to bring all the sockets now we are going to be using the normal node to relight something so shift a search and add in a normal node and then my laptop fan is being crazy Okay, so 
yeah my family's back from shopping so if my laptop's fan wasn't an issue before the, their noise is going to be a lot now but either way we've added a normal node so let's connect the normal i think we have the password yeah direct this one to the normal now if we shift click this and go to the dot socket if we get this but what's more fun about this is that you know we can change stuff like this and we're going to use the normal pass to relight the scene if i haven't mentioned earlier so i'm just going to select something like this yeah so i'm gonna i want some sort of you know uh rim light uh, if that's what it's uh something like this yeah this looks perfect so okay so now that that's done just add in a mix node set this to multiply and then take the dinners output from over earlier and then connect it and now we'll see that the only places that are being visible are the ones that are uh, yes like i told you <laughs> noise is gonna get crazy around here now but yeah the only thing that's being visible is the thing that is under uh, the white portion the white mat the only area is visible ah art this is this is a day but like i told you we want this to, this thing to be only like a, like we want this thing to serve as a, a, a rim light so i'm just going to duplicate this node i'm going to plug the dinos node again to the top socket and i want this node to be the bottom socket because i want this to be on top of our original node and then select add and let's move this and now you'll see that nothing has changed and also uh just just a second and also you'll notice that there's a lot of noise over here so what i'm gonna do is just add or uh, just duplicate this denoise node if it allow me if it if it will allow me wow okay Control shift d and just put it over here so now this whole thing is gonna get denoised it's gonna look super fun yeah so now if you shift click this uh, just like the previous thing or just like the previous uh view nothing is happening but if i now add a color balance node over here and then just take this the gamma socket gamma gamma socket to use something like yellow you will see the difference directly and it's it's awesome so it's kind of orangish right now and i said yellow so let's just take it to the yellow side yellow that's a weird name but it's, it's, it's a cool name so let's see why isn't it okay and now will it give me yellow i'm trying to you know for trying for yellow but it's still giving me orange yeah i think i'll set it for this but okay so one problem that i'm having here is that this is affecting everywhere you know and that's not what i want i just i just want this light to affect this sofa or whatever this is i'll just full screen this i want the rim light to have an effect on this on this bad boy and maybe on the sofa and over here right but any anything other than that i don't want that to have an effect so what i'm gonna do is again make use of crypto mat so i'm just gonna select this crypto mats whole section from over here shift d and bring it over here again remove everything that's going on over here and now let's just go to pick and let's just have fun picking stuff up so I'm, i want this to be selected i want this to be selected i want the sofa to be selected i want this to be selected and i want this to be selected okay maybe the pillows as well so this pillow and this there's also one more pillow over here but it has the same material so i don't think we'll be having the problem also mm, yeah i think i think that's it maybe the guitar you know why not just this one yeah so we have selected a bunch of stuff so if we go to the image yeah this is our selection so let's just grab this over here now how would we add this information to this pile well that's simple what we're gonna do is uh, before this whole mask 
even reaches this output we're going to multiply it with this mask so if i just duplicate this node select this over okay uh control z move it over here now okay now shift d to multiply this and then select this at the bottom socket so now if we view this we should be yeah only these objects are getting affected so now if you view this yay, 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 yay. now as you can see we are getting subtle effects not that great but we're getting subtle effects so what i like to do is just you know type something over here like three or one no not one one was one was already there but three now three is just amplifying the effect now if you guys uh, like it then feel free and if you guys want to add more more objects like this waist or something over there then yeah be my guest this is just some artistic choice you know i just it, who cares about if it's real or if the light should be going over it's it's your art you know it's your world so you decide what's real and what's fake over there so just do what you feel is right in this case i really feel that only these objects should be getting the rim light so i'm just gonna keep this at two not point two two okay so i think yeah that that should be it yep so now one last thing before i end this awesome video i guess is let's add some lens distortion right so i'm gonna add in a lens distortion a lens distortion node just search and you'll get this now the whole idea behind this video was you know to just first of all make it look so real because every video on my youtube channel has been that me adding cg objects objects on top of real footage so this time i decided to you know just make everything cg so you know that, that, that's something new that i'm trying to do make everything cg work with materials and stuff so for my viewers to give make it look like you know this is i i shot it on like i wanted them to have uh, or I just wanted them to think that I know the only object that is fake over here is this blue liquidy thing. So usually when you record or from your phone, right, there's there's a bit of distortion. Not not every image is flat. So this is what this distortion node is going to allow us to do. So if I set this to something like 0.5, you'll notice that when this is a big amount, first of all, this is happening. So if I choose fit. Yeah, so this is distortion. Like I told you, that's a big amount. So if I just set it to set it to point two, uh, we will get. I think this is a lot too. Maybe point point five. Yeah, zero point zero five. Yeah. So you you, you see that uh, there's this whole distortion kind of thing happening over here, and this actually happens when you you know record from cameras. So to just to give that effect, I'm just gonna keep this at 0 0.01, and yeah, that that should you know, that just you know it's just an added touch that I added for this project, and then what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is just one more thing before I end it, and I keep saying that, but this is actually the last thing that I'm gonna do is, and let's make this environment look as if it's evenings, you know, it's evening and it's super dark and it has a kind of a bluish tint to the whole scenario. So what I'm gonna do is over here in the gain panel, and by the way, I've added a color balance node. So let's just darken this, something like this. Let's see where that, where what that gives us yeah okay that's cool and then let's just take this blue and just slightly put it over here okay we don't want it to go all the way over here because in color grading the the little effects the the just a tiny bit push and it 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 goes extreme so yeah just little things matter more matter the most so now you can take a look this this kind of looks like an evening sort of you know it's a, it's it's evening it basically looks like that so really don't know what it's called but that's that now if you guys are digging this then feel free to mess around with this but i i just like the previous version so i'm just going to mute this so yeah then that's that guys i mean just we've done some awesome shit right now i mean we went from this image to for, well 
this uh, any minute now any minute yeah do this and which is awesome i mean imagine your client you know asking you to hey you know what i didn't like this color so maybe change it and then you'll spend like six or seven hours just rewriting the whole thing right and this is where compositing comes in you know we just did this in like 20 10 minutes i mean it, of course i'm recording the tutorial so it took a while for me to explain and do this but if you're just you know doing it on your own then it will take like five or ten minutes and yeah the note tree looks a bit complicated but trust me it's not it's just one layer being on top of another and for those of you who followed along you know that what we've done is just you know duplicate some just duplicate few nodes and just change here and there now uh, okay so the tutorial part is done now this is just uh your i need your advice for something okay so I've been thinking of making this power of compositing series into a thing. So every time I make weird videos like this, I will, you know, uh, like just get into compositing and try to push things to the next level. So I think that'll be pretty fun, you know, and if the, for those of you guys who are afraid of compositing or who just want to know how I composited or who just want to learn compositing, I think series like this will be pretty awesome. And Blender's compositor is something that's not been talked about a lot. And I think that's 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 weird. I mean, yeah, softwares like Nuke and Fusion do have some edge over Blender in compositing, but I think Blender's pretty awesome. And the shit that we did is it's pretty awesome. I mean, we literally changed textures in compositing. I mean, wow, that, that was awesome. So yeah, let me know if you guys are digging this power of compositing. So then I'll just you know make this into a thing. So it'd be pretty fun. And I like I like compositing, and I think people should do compositing. It's awesome and yeah it, it's a time saver so the last thing i'll just show you guys what to do with render so right now we've all we've been connecting everything to the reaver node so let's just go over here and connect this to the composite node right and now since you for those of you who are you know you have an animation just go over here to the output tab and just select and just choose whatever file path you want then choose png then go over to render render animation and now for those of you who just want to render this current thing right now just click render image and then after you see after the image is rendered just hit alt s and that will save it for you at your desired location also uh, if you guys are up for a challenge i would like to challenge you to make some awesome shit out of the exr the file that i provided you and i want you to follow the same things or maybe do something different with it but you know just make something awesome out of it i want you to take this uh this file like sorry this image to the next level and i want you to just mess around with it and just change textures do this make it an evening scene make it a rainy scene add smoke uh to do something awesome you know if you guys are for the challenge then please by far i challenge you to do it and once you're done with that challenge then i would send it to me you know i have this is my instagram handle right here and uh, we also have a discord server so share it anywhere uh share it to me basically yeah that that's that's all i want i want to see what you guys come up with after watching this tutorial because if even if one of you guys you know sends it to me and follows along i'll know that i well it just well first of all it makes me feel good and that it makes me think that you learned something which is which is basically what the point of this tutorial is is to teach you guys how awesome it is now of course reorganize whole this whole thing yeah you can do that that's that's pretty easy it just go frame uh, shift a layout and frame and just organize this stuff that that's really up to you but yeah i'm just gonna leave it as it is now I've, i'm just gonna hit render again so yeah that that that's it for me uh this this was super fun i really enjoyed it i and i, and I hope you learned something new from this tutorial so i'll see you in the next one until then be infinite